digital world, basically I don't need a mobile, a laptop or an iPod to work. I can create a virtual screen in front of me and then I can operate or I can start doing my work. I can make a call without, without touching a screen using the virtual screen. I can talk to a friend using the virtual screen. Facebook has changed its name to Meta. It's been a week they have announced their new name. Metaverse is the virtual world which is replacing the profile into a virtual profile. What and all we can experience in that? You can basically creating a virtual profile in Metaverse. So in other words, you can actually create a virtual world according to the way your character, how it should look. It's like a virtual world, your animation character is created. How the skin tone, how your face, how your how the size of your body, what skin tone you must have, everything you can choose in whatever the type you want. You can choose the outfit of the day. You can choose the place, how it should look like. Basically, we feel that we are present inside that virtual world physically. Even though we are not physically involved in that, but through the virtual world, like Okay, now I am inside the virtual world. I can see all the profiles. I can see a virtual office. I can see a virtual call coming up. I can pick up a call virtually. I can change the profile. I can invite a friend virtually to talk. I can play a game virtually sitting here and playing with the opposite person who is also virtually playing from his office or his home. Maybe you'll play old games in new ways. So, uh, Barcelona, huh? Well, it's not New York, but I like it. New York, this is What's that? I said, let me put my game face on so I can beat you. Ah, okay. Check. I gotta try another game face next time. Video go head to head with players from around the world. Play shop. So, let's go. Keep talking. Or maybe you'll do things that aren't even possible in gaming today. Hey, Mark. Yeah, for a VR boiling session. Now, this. So it is like a matter of a glass, you just wear a certain kind of a glass and you are virtually there in a different world. The metaverse is a totally different experience that you are inside that virtual world and you can feel that experience of being in different places and being around the people in the way whatever you want, how you want to look, what you want to do, anything fantasy you feel like doing it which is impossible in the real world and most of the people can actually get it done inside this virtual world you don't like your outfit go ahead and change inside the metaverse you don't like the workplace where you are sitting and working example it could be your home or it could be your office get inside the metaverse world and you can literally change the office environment however you want it to look like for the gamers it's going to be a completely extraordinary experience because all this while we were using it through maximum using a workstation or the remote controls now it's going to be completely like you literally play physically from here with with your opposition now if it is a tennis you you will be most of us will be playing using the keyboards or using the PlayStation remote controls. Now it is going to be completely, you literally use your hand and play, holding the virtual bat, ball and playing with the opposite person virtually. This is for all the games. So imagine what are the games are going to be inside this metaverse and they are working very big. So all the gamers are going to be really enjoying this, this version of uh, virtual or digital play, digital game. They are going to literally have a total, totally outstanding experience of playing the game virtually. they would be going to playing a virtual game but they are playing physically here with virtual objects and virtual person imagine you wanted to show a presentation to your boss just wear the glasses get inside the virtual world and show the presentation on a table talk to your boss invite your boss to your home place or wherever the place you are working and 
and present your project. That's it. Over the last year and a half, a lot of us who work in offices have gone remote. And while I miss seeing the people I work with, I think remote work is here to stay for a lot of people. So we're going to need better tools to work together. Let's take a look at what working in the metaverse will be like. Imagine if you could be at the office without the commute. You would still have that sense of presence, shared physical space, those chance interactions that make your day all accessible from anywhere. Now imagine that you have your perfect work setup and you can actually do more than you could in your regular work setup. And on top of all that, you can keep wearing your favorite sweatpants. Looking good. Let's get together real quick for a debrief. I'm free now. Let's jump in. Hi. Hey. So what do we think? I think it's ready. Great. I'll prep it for the presentation. All right. Good luck. Sounds so cool, right? You get inside this world by wearing the Quest headset and immediately you will see the Horizon Hope, which is like nothing but our homepage in Facebook. Similar way, like you will have your home space in the world, virtual. You will have a home space virtually and you can choose whichever the designs you can choose whichever the designs you want that home look like. So basically, this is your space or this is your profile inside this metaverse. Imagine you are sitting in India and your friend is somewhere in US and he's attending the concert over there and they are missing you there physically to be present. Now, they can actually invite you to be part of the concert to watch virtually like standing next to them. Just watch this clip. What if you could be there with her? I'm packing all my sneakers. I never had a cup. Yo. You're here. It looks so cool, right? I really love this feature. And for the fitness people, imagine you have your coach or the tutor inside your room virtually and he's teaching you exactly in front of you to make all the moves, stretches and all the exercises. Now you feel you don't feel like you are actually doing it lonely. You would be feeling the experience of your coaches exactly in front of you. For the kids and college people, it's going to be the next level of learning. Already we have so many apps which is teaching them through a lot of uh, animation stories, a lot of ways of storytelling, a lot of ways of showing up with the objects, objects and animations. It's really interesting to learn in this way rather than forcefully learning using the board. Now it's logically and theoretically it's very possible for them to explain and make them understand easy. Imagine it's going to be they learning in this way that inviting the solar planet to in front of your home and showing them the virtually bringing the Saturn in front of the kids and showing them that every particles and objects of the Saturn is going to be the amazing like like I also would like to learn I, I really wanted to feel that kind of a solar system experience uh, now as well imagine who wouldn't like to be learned in this way I think I miss that we, we didn't get a chance to learn in this way. I think the future kids are going to be really lucky to learn in this way. Also, you can travel back to any of the ancient times, thousand years before, two thousand years before, whichever the timeline you feel like you wanted to travel to that era and you can just physically, sorry, not physically, you can just virtually go there and feel the kind of uh, environment, people, culture, everything by just entering into this metaverse, which is the virtual world. Even learning any kind of uh, aspects, like any kind of uh, technical things, 
you have to physically learn such things like even a doctor learning a surgery like a medical student learning a surgery also they need not to go and try on a human body like they are actually helping them to learn virtually and also a mechanic like how he can use certain tools to fix the any kind of engines or any kind of a tool issues automobiles issues that also they can actually practice and try in a virtual world i think this is a really uh, interesting and uh, i would say a brilliant way to learn without hampering without wasting anything this is api api come come on api who is a good persistent state virtual object layered on an interactive pass through environment Oh, you are? Yes, you are. Api, sit. You can have a digital pet also. Can you imagine that? I think this is uh, something I really loved it. So once you put the VR, basically it's going to exactly uh, reflect the animation characters of your own expressions. Like whatever the expressions you do it on your face, you smile, you show your frustration, anger, anything you speak. any kind of a movements on your face it's going to reflect on your virtual character or virtual avatar i would say it's going to exactly reflect to the people who are actually interacting with you or watching with you through this metaverse world you are typing on a table without using any kind of a keypads or any kind of a mobile uh, keypads you can actually play any games without any objects you can learn the completely a different way without having a books you can learn anything just by making the hand movements you can read the message without holding a mobile in the hand imagine if any of our grandfather or grandmother is watching us it looks so funny for them they they might think that we were crazy we are we are mad that we are not at all utilizing anything we are not at all we are just typing on a, a blank table or we are just talking to people without anything we are just uh, uh, watching something without anything so they will go crazy i think it looks crazy for somebody who is not using this and just to watch the person who is into this i think the the beginning stage of this is going to be really funny to explore even it's going to be really crazy to use and absolutely we are all going to have the extraordinary experience now all the technology has improvised our life but the same way we also can feel that there could be a lot of disadvantage or people getting addicted to these kind of uh, uh, technology sometimes it's not good also i feel like people will getting over addicted to that and uh, and fear of that people what if people think that they completely into this world virtual world and they don't even interact with any real people real human being like whoever is next to them and they literally think that they are the character or they are the one who is living and i'm also worried about the kind of gaming the kind of experience what they are going to give equally it is it, there are chances it might hit or hamper somebody uh, with the excitement like uh, what if when they are actually playing a tennis ball and they break something in the room or they hit on somebody because once you get inside the virtual world all of us know it's going to be a totally different experience and we don't feel where we are now so i feel there are equal chances of advantage and disadvantages but it only depends on the person how they are going to take it and deal it with that so i am looking forward for this to start using the metaverse uh, metaverse world or i would say metaverse virtual world at the same time i'm worried about the impact what it's going to create on people especially the teenagers and kids hope uh, we are not get addicted to that and we still uh, try to live in a real life so i think let's see let's uh, let's wait and see once this is released and what kind of uh, changes experience we are going to feel i'm sure a lot of opportunities we are going to get through this a lot of things are going to be easy in our life so hoping for the changes to happen so that's all from this video thank you so much for watching and let me know what is your opinion about this metaverse thank you guys see you